now, ladies and gentlemen, for the next fight of the evening. Introducing first, in the blue corner, she's coming from Azerbaijan. Make some noise for Swad Salimova. Ladies action here at FIA Kickboxing Volume 27. Swad Salimova set to go at it with Nadezhda Kantir at 48 kilograms. Salimova, 25 years old and fights for Mike's gym out of the Netherlands. Kantir is the reigning KLK strawweight champion, but this one uh, a few kilos lighter. This is actually the second straight fight for Kantir at 48 kilos and is the debut of Sally Mova here in FIA. Well, take a look at Sally Mova. Had a big smile on her face as she was walking down the ramp. Still taking in this moment. Not a very experienced fighter for 25 years old. Just two professional fights under her belt thus far and perhaps the biggest opportunity of her career to date. Salimova. And now introducing his opponent into the red corner. She's coming from Moldova. Make some noise for Nadezhda Kanti. Nadezhda Kanti are very well known here in Kishino has become uh, sort of like a women's icon in Moldova. I see she's had a number of different appearances on different television programs, different chat shows, different news programs. She's had articles written about her on the internet and newspapers. And she's really been inspiring a lot of other female athletes to take up kickboxing, to take up self-defense. The FIA girls wave hello. And we take another look at the Moldovan fight queen, Nadezhda Kantian. Very proud of her heritage. Very proud of her Moldovan roots. 27 years old, representing Bearcut Fight Club. She defeated Esma Hassas, the fight queen here by a, a, a controversial decision, according to Esma. Uh, that rematch has yet to materialize, and I hope that it does one day, because those two are so evenly matched that I think that they deserve to have that title fight again. But the question is, is Nadezhda ever going to defend the championship uh, at 52 kilos? Because for the second straight event now, she's been fighting at 48. Maybe she feels better at this weight division. Who knows? But she keeps improving. She keeps getting better. And she's in the ring here tonight to prove that she's still the best in Moldova. Ladies and gentlemen, Nadezhda Kantir. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the blue quarter. Weighing 48 kilograms, height 1.64 meters, having a personal record of two fights, one win, and one loss. She's fighting for Azerbaijan. Make some noise for Suat Salimova. Presenting the red corner. Weighing 48 kilograms, height 1.66 meters, having a personal record of eight fights, seven wins, and one loss. She's fighting for Moldova. Make some noise for Natasha Kantil. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a woman super fighter, weighing under 48 kilograms, and three minute, three round, extra one round, K1 rules. Referee in the ring, Lupusher Dumitru. Red corner. Okay, you will fight fair rules. 
no clinching, all no elbow. Listen, I command. Okay. Good luck. Judge, judge, judge. First round. Round one. And we are underway, our first and last ladies fight of the evening. Look at this, these two tearing right into each other off the opening bell. Relentless action from both fighters. That's what Cantor likes the most. She is always a flaming ball of energy. Always moves forward, always constant motion, punches and bunches. Kantir is not a, a knockout artist, not by any means, but uh, certainly when it comes to cumulative damage, she hits the target. And I think that the Sally Mova may have knocked some of her hair loose when they were fighting on the inside, and you can see it bouncing and bobbing all over the place here, even getting in her eyes could be actually impeding her vision a little bit. Looks like there may have been some blood drawn on the Azerbaijani fighter. Maybe coming from the nose. Hard to tell because these two are infighting so much. Ooh, that push kick right to the face. Sally Mova putting the pressure on. Trying to control and dictate the pace of this fight. You don't normally see Kantir backing up too much. She likes to be the aggressor. She certainly was in the contest against Haas Haas. Was the one moving forward more. And this time around, Sally Mova trying to dictate. Catches her with a short right hook this time. Look at this. This is just nonstop action these two have got to be careful not to punch themselves out here in this first round well i guess it's plan b as far as the the hair is concerned it seems like the the hair has come loose and they're going to resort to the tape here to get that under control certainly not the most desirable thing to happen but necessary Necessary for the safety of Kantir. Back to action we go as these two again, picking up right where they left off. Giving new meaning to the word punches and bunches. This is just punches nonstop. Back up against the ropes here, and again, a lot of infighting. A lot of short little shots on the inside over and over and over again. Big left hand that time as she really wound up with it. End of round one. probably in the end because how can you really pick a winner in that first round? It's very, very difficult. 
seeing as how there was just so many kicks. Imagine if you're the judge sitting at ringside and you're clicking each time somebody lands a punch. And your thumbs must be falling off by now. You're going to develop arthritis. Round two. And they're not slowing down yet. And I think this is really a, a, a war of attrition right now at this point because when you've already set this kind of a standard for the fight, I think the first fighter that slows down the pace is going to kind of consciously or unconsciously, whoa, send a signal to their opponent that they're, that they're slowing down and that they're, they're, they're losing ground, which is only going to egg on the other opponent to do it even more and to keep up this blistering pace. Nobody's really landing any big, clean power shots either, are they? It's just, it's just a, a case of quantity over quality. Crowd, though, enjoying it, coming alive here. Whoa, good shot there by Swad Salimova. Salimova, coincidentally, also residing in the Netherlands. Fights for Mike's Gym, another great Dutch kickboxing gym. You know what I'd really like to see is, uh, you know, every single fight that Cantier's had has been here in Pia kickboxing. I I'd like to see her to get, get out of Moldova, so is here to leave the, bo the borders of her home country and fight in some other promotions. See what she can do, see what she's made of. She's certainly ready for it. And what I'd really like to see most of all is that rematch with her and Esma Hassas. It was one of the most talked about fights in FIA kickboxing in all of 2018. And certainly uh, a very hotly contested rivalry, which has developed. In fact, uh, Adeja Kanter is one of four KOK champions from Moldova, along with Vitali Matai, Konstantin Rusu, and Stanislav Renita. All four of those fighters should consider themselves on notice to defend the championships either here in FIA or somewhere else in KOK. Whoa, wait a minute, referee never called for a break. But the bell has sounded, and that is the end of round number two. Round two highlights here. You're really gonna have to slow down the slow motion even more. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's slow motion. Unbelievable. The pace in this fight has been nothing short of extraordinary. Look at the way she hit the ropes there very awkwardly. Kind of slipped uh, probably on some water or something and crashed into the rope. Well, both ladies so far proving that they are very, very well conditioned and prepared to certainly keep this pace up for three rounds. Maybe Round now three, we will finally final see round. a little bit of daylight for one fighter or the other because I, I have no idea how to score this thing through two rounds. The only thing between them thus far is the fact that Sally Mova is the one moving forward and maybe has a higher degree of aggression, but that's debatable.
this the final via kickboxing event of 2018. And from what I understand, there's gonna be six big events next year, three kickboxing and three MMA, the Eagles MMA, but we shall see. Should be an incredible year next year as they are gonna crown a whole lot of other PIA champions in the other weight divisions. I think in March we're gonna have a featherweight uh, tournament. Ooh, look at this, oh my. Boy, she got busted pretty bad there. I don't, I don't know if that was from a punch or if that was from maybe an incidental headbutt. Anything is possible on the inside. Keep your hands up. Look again, sitting almost like boxing in the proverbial phone booth. Whoa! And maybe this is what's finally going to separate these two. Katia really getting in some telling shots here in round three. Clubbing shots from Katia as the blood continues to pour profusely out of the nostrils of Swad Salimova. Well, they're going to bring in the EMTs here, try to get that bleeding under control. I don't think it's any cause uh, to, to stop the matchup unless she has a broken nose. It's unfortunate if the fight would be stopped due to a broken nose, as I've seen many fighters get their nose broken and then win. Kantir waiting patiently in a neutral corner, keeping a close eye on the decision here. Looks like they're going to keep this thing going. They just want to stop the blood flow. There's a great medical staff on hand here in FIA. It's always more or less the same couple people and they, they always respond very quickly. If there's a knockout or something, they're immediately in the ring doing their job. And we are back to action here. Would hate to see it get stopped here in the third and final round. Cantier. Whoa, wait a minute. They have gotten away with a forearm there. Good low kick in return from Sally Mova. And before I can even finish my sentence, there's at least 12 more shots landing. Impossible to keep up with the blow-by-blow -blow action as we are inside one minute now in round three. Well, Kantir, I, I, you could make a case for Kantir winning this third round, but as for the other two, it's still up in the air. Still some time left on the clock here in round three. Anything possible. Not a very aesthetically pleasing fight to watch, but a very grueling fight, a physically grueling confrontation between these two ladies. Whoa! Kant here unloading now with the heavy artillery. Closing seconds. Kant here not relenting whatsoever. End of the fight. Uh, take a look at that. A rough night at the office for Swan Salimova, especially in that third round. She kept up a fantastic pace throughout rounds one and two. And then also in, uh, I would say, the first half of round number three, she really controlled the ring. Uh, she dictated the pace. But then in round three, we really saw Nadezhda Kantir come alive. Let's have a look here. Uh, the nose is already bleeding at that point. So I didn't actually catch where the nose got busted, if it was from an incidental headbutt or if it was just from a punch uh, from Kantir. 
A very interesting matchup, and I'm interested to see what the decision is going to be here at FIA Kickboxing Volume 27. Is a by unanimous decision for the red corner, Nadezhda Kantir has done enough to win it. A uh, disappointed and frustrated look on the face of Swad Salimova. And absolute non-stop action between these two ladies for three full rounds. You got to give it up for that. A show of intestinal fortitude from both women. 48 kilos. A wonderful fight here in FIA.